this video we're going to be looking at multiplying functions and we're looking at this in terms of a cell phone company and we're going to see the demand and how to use the equation given to multiply functions <laughs> all right so we have the demand d in units sold for a company's new brand of cell phone at price x in dollars is d of x equals 5000 minus 10x what is the company's expected revenue from cell phone sales in terms of the price X? So the company's revenue will equal the price of its cell phones multiplied by the demand. So in other words, you have revenue, R-E-V. So revenue is equal to the price times, that's an E, times demand. So we're looking at um, an equation of d of x for demand. So the demand of the function d of x. And the price of the function, uh, let me clean this up a little bit. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so the price is going to be p of x, and the demand is going to be d of x. So the way I might write this out is P of X or P times D with respect to X because that's what they're asking us. They're asking for us for the expected revenue in terms of X, but this essentially is equal to P of X times, I'm going to do a little dot for times D of X, make sure that's filled in. No, just using um, some substitution, P of X in our case is going to be X because X is the price of the cell phone, it says right here. So now substituting in, we now have X times 5,000 times 5,000 um, minus 10 X. Using the distributive property, we are going to see this as 5,000x minus 10x squared. And here's one thing. Let's, let's actually, when we're going through this, because this is a, a defined problem, so let's also define our domains and ranges. So domain for p of x has to be greater or equal to zero, or I'm sorry, x has to be greater than or equal to zero, or x is greater than x. Because again, let's define this so we know if we're gonna look at this graphically, what we're working with. We need to know what we're working with. Um, our demand, again, you can't have negative demand. Um, I've never seen it actually happen. So again, we're looking at our function itself being greater than zero. And the domain is the intersection of the domain of P and D. So the domain of this guy would be the intersection of P over D. We're defining this because this is an actual word problem. We wanna make sure that the problem makes sense for what we're doing. So the revenue of the company, R of X, I'm gonna call this R of X, can be modeled by the equation 5,000X minus 10X squared, where it cannot actually be less than zero. So this function can, remember, go beyond zero. This is a quadratic function. The domain is all real numbers, but in our case, our domain is going to be be zero and above. So there we go. There is our example two from the Envisions Algebra 2 math book, um, multiplying two different functions together.